Here's five tips to edit video faster. Number one, organization. Overall, it helps to create a folder called Project Template. This will allow you to have the same organized folder structure for every project you do. For example, mine looks like this. So how this works is anytime we start a new project, I'll just copy and paste the template folder and rename the folder in the project files to whatever project I'm working on. Another reason I do all of this is because if a client or myself needs footage or an asset from a prior project, I immediately know where to find it because my folder structures have been the same for years now. To reiterate, number one is organization. The less time it takes you to find footage, assets, or any kind of material for your project means more time in the creative process in your video edits. Number two, ripple, delete, and trim. Instead of creating cuts, highlighting, deleting, and moving footage into place, try different versions of ripple deleting and trimming. If you wanna delete from where the playhead is to the previous edit point, hit Q and Premiere will automatically shift the trailing clips forward. Alternatively, if you want to edit from the playhead to the next edit point, hit W, and that will delete the section and shift the trailing clips accordingly. To ripple delete an entire highlighted section, hit Shift Forward Delete, that's this key on the keyboard. If you're on a laptop, then hit Shift Function Delete. Another option is to set your in point by hitting I and your out point by hitting O, then ripple deleting that section in between the brackets. Ripple deleting and ripple trimming can speed up your workflow, but personally, I think the modifiers that are assigned for those keyboard shortcuts are all over the keyboard. So my next tip is to create your own keyboard shortcuts. A good rule of thumb here is if you find yourself doing an action often, assign that to a shortcut key that's easily accessible to your hand on the keyboard. One of the great things about Premiere Pro is you can customize any command to a shortcut key. For an example of what I was just talking about with ripple delete, instead of moving my hand all over the keyboard, I want to assign that to the letter T. To do that, go up to Premiere Pro, Keyboard Shortcuts, search for ripple delete, click the command and type the key. I don't use the type tool as often, so I'm completely fine with overriding it. Hit okay. Now, whenever I hit the T key, it ripple deletes. Next time you go to edit a video, do this exercise. When you're editing and you come to a point where you need to go move your hand over to that mouse and do some sort of action or command, stop and ask yourself, is there a keyboard shortcut for this? And will it make my workflow faster? If so, make it a habit to change it to a shortcut key that you'll actually use. Trust me, you will speed up your editing workflow if you put this into practice. Number four is the pancake timeline. Now, depending on your project, this may or may not speed up your workflow, but if you haven't tried something like this out, it's worth giving it a shot. This is a specific kind of workspace that stacks two timelines on top of each other. An example of where I might use this is to create a selects reel of all of my B-roll and put that on one timeline. Then I have my main timeline on the bottom. And anytime I need to fill in B-roll onto the main timeline, I can just scroll through and pick and choose the selects that I need to bring down. The other way to approach this would be to have everything in a bin and click and drag by viewing the thumbnails and hover scrubbing. Either way can work. It's completely up to you and your workflow. But like I said, if you haven't tried it, give it a shot. Number five is using markers and color coding clips or sections. To add markers to your timeline, move the playhead to the desired location and without any clips highlighted, hit M on your keyboard and that will create a marker. This is useful for shifting your playhead to different sections of your edit quickly. Hit Shift M to go to the next marker and Shift Command M or Shift Control M on Windows to go to previous marker. Bonus tip is to hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows while you click them and then you can make the marker much longer. Double click to name, add notes, and change the color. Another trick I do towards the end of editing projects is highlighting entire sections and color coding the clips to know which sections start and stop when from a bird's eye view. This makes it really easy for me to know where the chapter markers need to go when I'm posting my YouTube videos. So there's five tips I think can help you edit videos faster, but what are some of your suggestions? Put them in the comments down below. If any of this was helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're looking for some more awesome video editing tips and tricks, well, there's a bunch here on the Adobe Video and Motion channel. Until next time, my name's Javier Mercedes, and I'll see you guys later.